I'm Jim with Nori. We're on a mission to make the world better through lubrication excellence. Today I want to talk to you about uh, additive depletion. Additive depletion is often used uh, to estimate uh, the age of the oil, the remaining useful life of the oil. Uh, most of our oil analysis laboratories can use various methods to, uh, to track the depletion of additives. Additives are in the oil obviously for a purpose and very often these additives are what we call sacrificial. They have to die to do their job or they have to leave the oil to do their job. Uh, there are two main types of additive depletion. First is what we call additive decomposition. In this case, the additive literally uh, dies or changes state, but its, its mass is in the oil, but its, its chemistry has changed. So the additive could oxidize, it could hydrolyze due to water, uh, the additive could neutralize acid-base uh, reactions. It could be exposed to high temperature and degrade in that way. So uh, the additive, again, is no, uh, no longer functionally or performance-wise able to do its job, although its mass is still floating around in oil and perhaps could be detected by elemental analysis. The second category of additive depletion is what we call mass transfer. In this case, the mass of the additive is leaving the body of the oil. And so, so the, this might relate to additives like uh, detergents and dispersants, uh, rust inhibitors would be a good example, EP additives. Uh, so additives that are, uh, that are uh, polar or can precipitate out of the oil, uh, can easily uh, leave the oil, leave the, the bulk of the oil. This could be associated with stratification due to storage, particularly cold, uh, uh, you know, prolonged storage of uh, lubricant where additives tend to drop out or precipitate out and kind of gather uh, at the bottom of a container or storage vessel. It might uh, occur due to particles that are in the oil and the additive uh, kind of latching onto the particle, hitching a ride when the particle then is removed by filtration or it settles to the bottom of a, of a tank or reservoir or sump. Again, it pulls out the additive uh, with it. Uh, the additive can leave the oil by doing the job it was originally intended to do. So if the additive is a uh, friction modifier, if it's an anaware additive, an EP additive, uh, it might go to the frictional surfaces where uh, friction and wear occurs and try to mitigate uh, those conditions. In doing so, the additive depletes. It leaves the oil. Uh, the uh, rust inhibitor additive may go to the steel casing of the machine or a shaft or other internal uh, exposed steel surfaces so that water uh, is, it creates a barrier film so water can't uh, permeate that film making contact with the steel causing uh, rust. So there's a lot of additives most of these additives, again, are sacrificial. We want them to sacrifice their life because when they are sacrificing, when they are depleting, they're doing their job, they're saving the oil or they're saving the machine or both. So that's, uh, you know, in oil analysis, we want to monitor additive depletion just to make sure, first of all, the additive is there to see how much additive remains. It gives us an idea of the remaining useful life of the oil, when the oil needs to be changed and it's an important function of oil analysis. For more information on additive depletion, visit us at noria.com.